let's say, a grandfather could not recognize uh, his uh, grandchildren's face. It's so important that we stop the disease and give them uh, many years of normal life. As we grow older, our bodies tend to remind us of the passing years with new challenges to our health. One of the most common, which diminishes the eyesight of millions of older people around the world, is age-related wet macular degeneration. As it progresses, this disease blurs our vision so that we might no longer be able to read or drive a car or perhaps even recognize the ones we love. In wet macular degeneration, the challenge to that normalcy occurs at the back of the eye. There, an area called the macula gives us the fine vision we need to do all of those things that we might take for granted. As we age, the blood vessels under the macula can leak, filling it with fluid. This blurs our vision and can eventually cause blindness. For decades, doctors could only see the surface of our maculas, so they had a hard time determining the exact progression of a patient's disease. That changed in the early 2000s when a new imaging technology called Optical Coherence Tomography, or OCT, became available. What OCT did differently was show us a cross-sectional image as if we were taking a slice through the retina, but we were doing it in a live person, non-invasively, in real time, meaning we could get the image in seconds and have immediate feedback as to what was going on down almost to a cellular level. What happened is that we could see the disease process even before the vision was affected. This ability to see the disease so early was critical, but a challenge remained. Doctors were still very limited in how they could treat the disease. In the mid-1990s, the only treatment we had for wet macular degeneration was laser and we couldn't use the laser in the center of the macula and that's where over 90% of the patients had their disease. Fortunately, the invention of OCT coincided with new knowledge about a protein in our body that's commonly called VEGF. And it turns out that many of the diseases that cause vision loss in the back of the eye are caused by the presence of too much VEGF, and that causes the blood vessels in the macula and in the retina to leak. To combat this problem, medical researchers and drug companies developed drugs, appropriately called anti-VEGF drugs, that could be injected into the eye to prevent VEGF from running amok. Armed now with a powerful imaging technology, OCT, and these new drugs, doctors were in a much better place to tackle wet macular degeneration. So now we could diagnose the fluid, we could treat the fluid, and we could follow the fluid over time. And that revolutionized the way we took care of patients. A critical part of that revolution was that doctors didn't have to be constrained by any one-size-fits-all protocol for injecting the drugs. The protocol typically being monthly injections for the rest of a patient's life. While some patients clearly need injections that often, what's become apparent is that not every patient does. So what OCT allowed us to do was to individualize the treatment to the patient that was sitting in front of us and realize when the injection needed to be done and equally importantly, when an injection could be safely withheld. This means that doctors can effectively treat their patient's wet macular degeneration and at the same time, tend to other critical quality of life issues. It's a great burden to come into a doctor's office on a monthly basis, especially for elderly patients who often it's a family member that needs to bring them in and take a day off from work. So the difference between successful treatments with 12 visits to the doctor a year versus six visits to the doctor a year uh, is also really incredibly important and has been a great advance for our patients. Researchers continue their work to push the limits of OCT technology and to test new drugs so that they might find and stop macular degeneration even sooner than they can now. It's challenging technical work, but that focus on the patient, on the people who will benefit from this work, is never far from their minds. The most important thing is to help elderly people to have a normal life. In my clinic, I, I see that way. When I see an old lady, I think of my mom. And I, when I see technologies like OCT, that can prevent my mom going into blindness, um, it, it motivates me. 
a lot.